Hey guys, we're back for another fun-filled episode. We hope you tuned into our last episode on feminine hygiene, mm -hmm. where we busted some myths. Got all of the nicks and crannies, you know. <laughs> Check it out on YouTube. This series is titled Because I Love Him. Aww. <laughs> it's in honor of Valentine's Day because you know a bestie needs love too. It's really inspired by all our women out there, our crazy busy ladies, because we know in our families we tend to be the predominant caregivers. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're wife, sister, yes. mom. Yes. We take care of everyone in addition to trying to take care of ourselves. Yes. Oftentimes we as women are the ones who see the first signs, know when things are not quite normal. Mm -hmm. So we can really help our partners help themselves uh, when it comes to their health. We're going to be talking about some warning signs that uh, men can see that could mean that there's something more serious going on underneath that. So for any of the men in your life, your boos, your dads, your uncle, your brothers, mm -hmm. if any of these things come up, make sure to get them checked out. Absolutely. The first one that we're going to talk about is blood in the urine, right? If you can see blood with your naked eye in the urine, it means there's a problem. One of the big ones is a urinary tract infection. Mm -hmm. And if you watched our last episode, you remember Dr. Gomley telling you <laughs> the men don't commonly get urinary tract infections and have a long pathway between the opening where they urinate to their bladder. So it's a long way for bacteria to travel and usually get plenty of time to kill it before it becomes an issue. You could have a urinary tract infection with symptoms such as burning your urine, having to go frequently, sometimes you can have fevers or pelvic pain. And now you have blood in your urine. That should be a telltale sign that maybe you have a urinary tract infection and you most definitely need antibiotics. Blood in the urine can also be due to a kidney stone. So these are stones that develop inside of your kidney. And when they're inside the kidney, they don't really cause that many symptoms. But once they start making their Ooh, way out, wait. girl, you better believe it. He will be crying yes. and writhing in pain. He'll be sweating, yes. nauseous, yes. vomiting. He's going to look like he's about to have a baby. Yes. And, <laughs> and I've heard from men describing it. It feels like that. It feels like you're passing a football as they're urinating. Right. And so as the stone makes its way from the kidney to the bladder, you know, to eventually them urinating it out, it can cause bleeding. Another important condition to be aware of is if the prostate gets inflamed. What is the prostate, you ask? What is the prostate? So it's a very important gland that resides right below the bladder in a male. And it's important for essential components that make up the semen. In prostate inflammation, you can have symptoms such as blood in the urine, pain with ejaculation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, pelvic pain um, right underneath your scrotum. And that should be a telltale sign, mm -hmm, something bad is happening. All right. So common causes of prostate inflammation um, and really infection um, are bacteria. Just like how you can get a bacteria that causes a urine infection, um, this can come from your own bacteria or it can also come from sexual intercourse. So worst case scenario, if your boo or your dad or your brother sees blood in their urine, it's cancer. And cancer can result in any part of the male mm -hmm, genital urinary tract. Um, and some risk factors include a family history of cancer. Smoking is always a risk factor for cancer. Um, and then some signs and symptoms other than blood in the urine are weight loss, um, pain, uh, sweating at night, um, you know, fatigue, tired. 